Hello and welcome. This is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Lovely of you to join me again today. And today we're going to make this beautiful little card here. Welcome especially if you're a beginner card maker. Um, I'm running this series especially because I seem to encounter a lot of people who either have never made cards before but would like to start or who have dabbled a little bit but are really not confident in their own abilities to craft. And so I've been running this um, this class um, called Card Making for Beginners for those people. And actually, it's lovely to see how people are actually developing in confidence and beginning to um, enjoy their crafting and not feel so anxious about it all going wrong. Um, so the first class I ran... Um, this was the first class we made. I wanted to show them that with just a few stamps and um, a few inks, they could make a beautiful card that actually anybody could make. Very, very easy. So this was what we made. And to make it a bit more special, we decorated the envelope as well um, with a little bit of stamping. So that made that um, tie in quite nicely. So I'm going to show you today exactly what we did with that card. Um, what we stamped on was one of our Whisper White note cards. These are slightly smaller than a normal 4x6 A6 card, um, but they're quite useful because if you're a beginner card maker, you don't really want to start faffing around making your own card blanks, and you would need a trimmer for that, which is quite a big investment. So to buy the note cards is quite an economical way to get started. You get 20 of these with envelopes for 550, so you could make 20 cards um, with that initial 550 outlet so I think that's quite good value. Um, so we stamped on one of our Whisper White, it's a thicker Whisper White card stock. We do two um, Whisper White um, weights of card. One is thinner and this one is the thicker one, which is the one that you really need if you're going to be doing card blanks. The thinner one is fine if you're going to be layering onto a card. But as you can see, our card was just very, very simple. One layer card with just some stamping and a couple of pearl embellishments. So, I we were using this stamp set, which is called Blooms and Wishes. I've used it a, quite a lot. This is one of my favourite sets in the catalogue. It's been in the catalogue a while. Um, wasn't retired when the new catalogue came out. It's a clear, I've got it in photopolymer um, because I like to be able to see what I'm doing. And there's 14 stamps in this set. Um, we're using eight of them today. We're going to use that one, that one, that one as the middles of the flowers. And that one, that one, that one. Oh, four middles. There we go. Um, and then that one as well. Um, so, so yes. So that's the stamp set we're using. I've already mounted the stamps that we're going to be using onto blocks. These two really need D blocks. So those are both mounted onto D blocks. This one is on a C block. That just fits on a C block. And these ones are on B blocks. I've got two B blocks. And then I didn't have enough of these. I think this is an A. And I could I could have got the centres on those ones, but I didn't have enough of those. Um, and then the greeting is on a G block, the long thin block. Um, the best wishes greeting. Um, of course, if you were doing this yourself at home, you would only need to purchase one. You could use one block, take off the stamps, add another one. So as long as it's big enough to fit the largest stamp, then you would just be able to cope with that one stamp. So you don't need to have all of these um, blocks. Just that for me showing on the video, it's much quicker if they're already mounted. And these stamps, I will just show you how easy they are. So this one, I have taken out of the packet, so out of the case that it comes in. This is just in case you are a real beginner. So it comes on the paper like that, you peel it off and literally stick it onto the block and it will cling. You don't need to use any glue or anything, it will just cling enough on the, on the acrylic block. Okay, um, so then I need my stamp pads, which are, um, so I'm going to have my card here so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to start with this flower here, which is the, one of the bigger flowers and it's in Flirty Flamingo ink. So open the stamp pad. And 
tap, 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 tap. Have a look at your stamp and make sure you think it's really covered. You don't need to put a lot of pressure on here. It is a tap, not a push into the ink. What will happen if you push it into the stamp pad, you'll get ink all around the block here and then you might catch that on your card and make a bit of a mess. So it's a tap, 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 maybe five, maybe four, whatever. And then you can see that you've got ink all over it. And I'm gonna position mine. I'm not gonna to be too precise about this because I don't think it really matters. And this stamp set is quite nice because it's got a kind of watercolor look. So you don't get a very even coverage. So if you don't press hard enough in some place, it won't matter because that's the whole look of the set. So that's our first pat flower stamped in flirty flamingo. I am going to close that stamp pad. I don't need it any longer and I don't want it to dry out. So I'm going to close that one and then I'm going to stamp this flower in daffodil yellow. So that's our other big flower and we need daffodil yellow ink. So I don't know if you can see me opening the stamp pad. So they come like this. You push and then you slide, pull it up and slide it. And the whole point of doing that is because then when it's stored, the ink pad is upside down and the ink will stay on the surface. Otherwise the ink drops to the bottom. And when you come to stamp, it might be a dry ink pad. So two of these. So again, no pushing, just ta gentle tapping on the ink pad. And I'm going to do one in this corner here. It's gonna overlap, but that's fine. And then one over in the other corner sort of maybe half a flower over here. doesn't matter if it overlaps with the other um, flower, that will be perfectly fine. There we go. And that leaf, that petal hasn't come out brilliantly, but that doesn't matter because it's the watercolour look that we're going for. So put that one there. And again, my stamp pad, push the end that the label is on, slide it along and then flip it over. And like I say, it will be stored like that but actually, if you think about it, the stamp pad is upside down in there. Okay, so now I just need to do the big orange flower, which is this stamp here. And I'm going to do that one in peekaboo peach. Tap, 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 tap. Check that you've got ink on it all. There's a little bit there that I think might be missing. There we go. Just make sure it's all covered. And then this one's going to go in the corner down here. So I'm going to put it maybe there. You need quite hard, um, a nice firm push when you put that um, on the card. So that's that one. Don't need that one anymore. Um, and then I'm just going to fill in some of these spaces with a little blue flower. I've got my little blue flower mounted on a B block. And I'm going to use Pool Party to stamp my little blue flower in some of the spaces. I haven't left as much space here as I did on my card, but that doesn't matter. It's very random, this, and, you know, it's meant to be a bit of a higgledy-piggledy mess. So I'm going to stamp one up here. And don't forget to go back and re-ink before you stamp another one. I'm going to stamp one here. And I'm going to stamp one here. And then I'm just going to take a look. And I think that's probably enough. I only need three. This one is in a different position, but it doesn't really matter. So that's all the pool party I need. And then I'm going to come back in. We're going to do a little bit of what could be called two-step stamping because we're now going to stamp on top of the flowers that we've actually stamped because we're going to stamp the centres of the flowers. So we're going to do this big one first. This is the, the, the ink pad Sweet Sugar Plum. We're going to stamp in the middle. like so and can you see because this stamp is a bit um a bit small for this stamp pad i've actually got ink on the block so when you stamp you need to be careful that that doesn't touch the paper if you had them on the right size block which would be this one that wouldn't happen um and then in the middle of the peekaboo peach one i'm going to use pumpkin pie um, to stamp the center. Let's put this one away. If I don't put my stamp pads away, I'm, I'm, it's fatal. I end up putting something in it, put my arm in it. Um, okay, so I want the middle of that one, which is this stamp here. This is on my little A block, so this is on the right block. And that just, and because these are photopolymer, you can see exactly where you're gonna place them. And so you can line them up really well. Um, okay, that's all I need of that one. 
but you can see if you wanted to make a whole set of these how quick this would be this is a really quick and easy card to make but I think it's quite pretty I quite like it um, and the last um, flower we're going to do is we need to do the middle of this one which is in delightful Dijon okay this one again on a slightly bit too bigger um, block um, and again can you see I've caught it on there but I'm going to stamp carefully so it won't matter and again line it up because you can see through the stamp you can line it up carefully and get it in the middle there and then we've done most of our stamping now all we need to do is I stamped um, the best wishes in orange in um, pick pick peach, peach on my card I'm actually going to do it take do something different I'm going to do it in pool party today to link in with these little flowers um, so getting out my pool party here's my greeting tap 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 no pushing remember just tapping and we're going to put that and again you can see through it so you can try and make sure that you get it nice and straight nice firm pressure and there we go that's all the stamping we needed to do apart from do you remember I said that we were going to stamp on the envelope actually what actually I'm going to leave this one open what I might do as well is actually just stamp on the inside um, which set which flower should we do maybe we'll do no we'll do we'll do a couple of um, just a couple of little pool party flowers in the middle here so I'm just going to do one here and am I going to do another one mm, oh no I don't think I am I'm just going to leave it at one little flower stamped inside there okay and then the envelope I'm going to use the same stamp I'm going to do one on the back here and I'm going to do just one at the bottom corner here so you can change it up so on my previous one I used the big yellow flower to do the corners this time I'm using the pool party so this envelope will definitely go with this card now the last thing we needed to do was add some pearls I'm just going to leave you for one minute while I go and grab my pearls because I've got to get them out just talk amongst yourselves for a sec Good job all my gear is just around, just outside this room where I film. Okay, so here are my pearls. So we take a pokey tool, um, but put your finger over the pearl as you do it because otherwise they will ping off and go in someone's eye. So you need to make sure that they stay controlled. I've got that stuck on my finger now. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, and just place it. I'm going to put it in again in the middle of the pool party not playing ball today there we go right so again finger on top so that you can lever it off carefully and this one and there we have it okay that was the one that we made today see how quick and simple that is with just a few inks and one stamp set what a beautiful card you can make and there are lots of different versions of this that you could make um, but I think it's really pretty so I hope that's inspired you to have a go yourselves um, um, if you'd like to purchase anything to make your own cards my um, shop details will be below the, on the video on the notes below um, if you want to see, catch any more um, videos in this um, card making for beginners series please subscribe to my video channel and you'll get notified whenever a new video is posted okay thank you very much for watching today i hope you've enjoyed the project and i'll see you next time bye bye